Meanwhile, a wave of anti-China sentiment is sweeping through the Philippines. Why? Because of a Chinese beauty product. Its label is insulting to the Filipinos. It says Manila belongs to China. The city's mayor, lawmakers and citizens all feel China did it intentionally. Authorities are, trying, are taking the importers to task. But the people are also targeting President Rodrigo Duterte. This report tells you why. Manila, the capital of the Philippines, listed as a part of mainland China. Filipinos are deeply offended by this label on a Chinese beauty product. They believe China has done this deliberately. It is driving up a new wave of anti-China sentiment in the Philippines. Manila city mayor Isco Moreno feels insulted, calling the mislabeling an attack on the Philippine sovereignty. He said it is not the governor of China, but the mayor of Manila. He has shut down four stores that sold the Ashley Shine hair care product. Now he is asking the government to deport all Chinese citizens who are importing such strangely labeled products and selling them in his city. Mayor Isco Moreno is very popular in the Philippines. He is even seen as a presidential candidate for the 2022 elections. So his posts lit up the social media platforms. Hashtag province of China began to trend. Filipinos started noticing many more Ashley Shine products carrying labels listing Manila as a province of China. That prompted other politicians to join the battle. Lawmaker Jericho Nograles started shooting off letters to authorities. He has called for blacklisting of the Chinese manufacturer and termed the mislabeling a repulsive offensive against the Philippines. The mayor, Isco Moreno, wants criminal charges filed against the distributor, Elegant Fumes Beauty Products. The presidential office is portraying the incident as being trivial, something that doesn't deserve the attention of the president, Rodrigo Duterte. His spokesperson said, no one believes we are a province of China. But the Filipinos have always been angered by Chinese actions, especially China's illegal claims over the Philippine territories in the South China Sea. Also previously, textile products have identified Philippine cities as a part of China. A geotag on Facebook and Instagram once displayed Philippines, the province of China. It is not a matter of belief, but perception a perception that China is out to get the Philippines and that the government is not standing up to it. The Filipinos believe this mislabeling is yet another attempt by China to mess with their minds. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.